All right, this this is Ellis. Ar Arliss. God, okay. That's Ellis. That's Arliss. Left to right. And that's Donna. They've all been helping me. And look at this. Clear four. floor where nothing but boxes were before. <laughs> that yeah. kind of rhymes, don't it? Yeah. Modern miracles. And uh, we got just that little bit to go yet. Uh, there, and then we got to start moving crap from the studio into the house. So that's going to be taking up all this space <laughs> again. It shall return. <laughs> So. All right, this is uh, just a couple of minutes later, and you can see now I can see the wall. I can see the wall. The wall. You got one container to go through. I got this container to go through. Don is going through another container over there. The end is near, guys, but, well, <laughs> tell us what we're going to have to bring over. Oh, the studio is full of wonderful, wonderful things. Yes, wonderful things. All right, an hour later, and we got the wall, which we're going to put our my bookcase from the studio there. I got two bookcases to bring over. We got a lot of stuff to bring over from the studio, which means it'll probably fill right back up again. But at least we got the first part cleared out. A lot of it in the uh, storage bin out in the back. So. It's good, ain't it? Yeah, it's very fine. And hopefully next week, I'll start sculpting again. And I, I put uh, my daughter's picture up here on a shelf above my area and uh, a folder that Gloria D made for me out of brain tanned leather and some flowers from an old movie. Put it in the wrong place. This is the shed outside and we got a lot of stuff stacked in here that would be stacked in the house if I didn't uh, have it out here some of the uh, true true form uh, armatures uh, some kind of a eight millimeter editing machine I don't know why I got that but I probably got it from my dad when after he passed away have a uh, lawnmower and uh, whale barrel and a few other things here but this, this is a huge place to store stuff so it's uh, going to be nice alright we're going to head over to the studio and grab a couple things and come well back. on the way over here we lost the radial arm saw some either fell out the back and somebody picked it up before we got back or somebody stole it out of the back of the truck, which is unbelievable to me. We just reported it to the sheriff. So we got the bookshelves here, and uh, we're setting up the books. At least getting that started, and then we can start bringing stuff over. Probably tomorrow or Monday. Well, came across my old sailor hat from the 1968-69 era or area of time. Anyway, and what was cool about it is the signatures that I got on it. This is a signature of Bob Hope that I got on it. He was in, over in uh, Puerto Rico, uh, just off the shore of uh, Roosevelt Roads, Puerto Rico, which is the base I was stationed at. And I worked on the journal the, uh, the uh, base, uh, uh, what is it called, public affairs office. I was the editor of the ships, or, the, or I worked on the magazine, the uh, quarterly newspaper type magazine we put out. And he was over on Fer uh, Vegas Island making a movie called The Private Navy of Sergeant O'Farrell. I put the name down below here. And then about, oh... Back in 92, I was showing on the north shore of Lake Tahoe in a gallery that was owned by the same people on the south shore. And the person showing at the south shore was Phyllis Diller. And I walked in on her uh, in her underwear in the trailer that they were dressing in. And I, somebody guided me to a room to get some keys for a truck. 
and uh, I think I was set up. Anyway, I opened the door, and there she was standing in a bra and and, uh, and uh, panties, and I said, oh, excuse me, and I started backing out, and she said, no, no, come on in, come on in. Her husband uh, was there, and uh, they were both looking around for the keys to this stupid truck, and there were no keys, so I, I definitely was being set up. And I was getting ready to leave, and she said, no, no, wait a minute, wait a minute. She grabbed my hand, and she had a nurse's cap on. She was getting ready for a skit with Bob Hope, and uh, had a USO show that was being put on, and uh, we were backstage. Uh, and she said, here, let me take your pulse. And I tell you, the, the lady was the nicest person I'd ever met. I sent a note with this hat down to the South Shore, and she signed it. And... Uh, how cool is that? Uh, she, uh, I couldn't get down to meet her because I was doing my show and I couldn't leave the gallery and she couldn't leave the gallery because she was doing her show. And so, at least I got her signature and Bob Hope's on the same hat. And how cool is that? And I've had it in a plastic bag all this time. And here are some pictures of me when I was a, <laughs> back in 67 as a sailor. All right. I'm, uh, <coughs> all right, uh, that's the end of the day today, and I am just a little worn out, so I'm going through all this stuff here, trying to get my sculpting area ready to be utilized, and, uh, I mentioned earlier in this video that I thought a radio alarm saw, uh, pardon me, was eating chili earlier and I'm starting to have it come back at me. Um, I lost a radial arm saw and I thought that it had been, uh, had fallen out of the back of a truck, but uh, the people transporting all the stuff over here didn't see anything happen, so uh, they thought that it might have been stolen. Anyway, I put up a post on Facebook that uh, for people in this area to keep an eye open uh, for a radial arm saw, and I kind of described how it looked and all that stuff. And uh, a local friend, and actually somebody pretty uh, pretty high up in the uh, movie business, uh, called me, told me he was following the truck, saw this saw fall out of the back of the truck. He uh, picked up the, uh, the saw and the, and the wood. He didn't know where they went. And uh, so he put a posting on Facebook uh, for anybody who had lost a saw, a radio alarm saw, describe it and he'll bring it over. And he just came and brought it to me and I've got it right here. Uh, it's, it's minus the table, but Damn, I mean, at least I got it. I'll have to build me another table. Um, but amazing people. Uh, I mean, just amazing people. And I'm proud of the people here in Ennis, Montana. Uh, he uh, was visiting his dad down in Texas. He came up to from Texas to Montana to do a commercial. And when he got here, they told him that the commercial was canceled. So now he's driving all the way back to Texas tomorrow, and it, it was such a good thing that uh, I got a hold of him because uh, he uh, he uh, you know brought it over, and I'm just so happy to have it. I'll show you the saw. There's the saw. It came through with just maybe a nick over here, right there on the end of the thing there. And that's the only damage to it. I mean, that's that's really a well-built saw. Let me let's see what brand it is. It's a Bosch uh, saw. B O S C H, Bosch brand. And if I was going to recommend a saw to anybody, a radial arm saw, that's the one I'd recommend. All right. Good night, everybody. See you next time. It was a happy ending to a rough day. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my 
instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.